an exercise today that is um, a hand-eye coordination exercise. It's also a metal riff. But before you uh, stop watching this video, in case that you are not so fond of metal, uh, the one I'm going to show you is rather gnarly. And it's very minor, but I also constructed a major one for you as well. And uh, I'm going to play this with distortion, but it doesn't have to be played that way. It's an excellent exercise for anyone because especially when you start out slow and start picking up speed, it's really phenomenal for um, helping with coordination, of course, hand-eye coordination, but also it, it's one of those exercises that helps make the fretboard look uh, a lot less alien to you. So we're going to go in for a close look and I'll show you how to play this guy. Okay, so the first thing I'd like to talk about is the fact that this exercise is in drop D tuning, where you just tune the low E, which is your thickest string, your sixth string, to a D. You just tune that one down to a D. If you're not sure how to do drop D tuning, it's very easy. You can take your D string, which is your fourth string right here, and pluck that and your low E at the same time, and tune the, the low E down to that same pitch. So That's what it should sound like. So anyways, um, the first thing I'd like to talk about is the rhythm structure of this exercise. Again, it's also great for metal guitars because um, if you're really just starting to get into metal, it can give you some real insight about metal type rhythms. And we're going to ride the D string. It means that we're going to uh, strike it twice with the pick using alternate picking. You can uh, start with any type of stroke that you want. I like to start with an upstroke. And so you're going to palm mute it about right here. And you're going to go like that. And that'll go in between the notes. So you're going to keep writing that. So now let me show you what the fretting hand does. Okay, so you're going to pick the D string open, which means you don't fret it at all. You pick it twice. And then you're going to put your index finger on the fifth fret of your A string. And you're going to pick that. And then hammer on with the middle finger onto the sixth fret. So. Okay. Then, after that, you're going to pick the D string open again, twice. And you come up to the uh, ninth fret on the A string. Same fingering. And you're going to hammer on the 10th fret. So now we have... Then you're going to slide up to the uh, 13th fret on the A string. Instead of doing a hammer on, you're going to do a pull off from the 13th to the 12th. But remember, you're going to pick that D string two more times again before you do that. So now we have... Oops. Then you're going to slide up to the 16th fret on the A string. You're going to pick the D again twice. And you're going to pick that 16th fret and then hammer on the 17th fret. So all together you now have... Okay, and so now for the major version of that one. Um, and if you want, go ahead and be ambitious and learn both of these, because the major one I find to be a little bit more trickier, and um, it's definitely a great one. It has a similar approach, but slightly different. So again, we're going to ride the, the D string twice, come up to the 7th fret on the A with the index finger. You're going to pick that and hammer on the um, ninth fret with your ring finger. Okay, then you're going to come up here to the 12th fret, or I'm sorry, to the 9th fret, and you're going to hit the D twice again, and hit the 9th fret, and you're going to hammer on the 12th fret. You can use your pinky if you like. I like to use my ring finger, so. Okay, and then you're going to come up to the 15th fret on the A string. Ride the D twice, pick the 15th fret on the A string, and pull off to the 12th fret. Okay, then you're, you're going to take your index finger and you're going to put it on the 15th fret of the A string. Pick the D twice again, pick the uh, 15th fret on the A string, and then hammer on with your middle finger onto the 17th fret. So, 